Importing a component into FeatureCam and creating stock. All we're going to do is create a new document. We're going to choose the machining we wish to do. In this case, we're going to do some milling. Choose the units, so we'll say in inches, and click OK. It's going to ask us if we want to create a block straight away, so we could have uh, our own geometry created within the package. In this case, I'm going to use an inventor model, so I'm going to cancel this. And I'm just going to go to the import and select my inventor component. Once our model has imported, we then get the wizard to choose how we're going to move forward now. And we can uh, use the wizard to establish the initial setup location. So it's going to take care of the stock size for us, the uh, X, Y, Z axes, and the touch point. We can just accept the, the imported data as it is and just import the features from inventor. Or we can accept the data as is and exit the wizard, which means we're now not going to import any of those features. This would typically be used if you're importing a vice, for example. You can also choose to launch the automatic feature recognition function directly after you've finished with the wizard. Again, a bit of a time saver. In this case, we're just going to accept the defaults and then we'll go on to recognizing the features later on in the presentation. So all we're going to do now is hit the next button. I then can define the X, Y, and Z for our component simply by telling it that the Z direction is on this edge vertically. We can do the same with the X direction. And then we can choose where we want to place our initial 0, 0 point on the block. So we're going to use a block, click on Next. We can now determine the size manually if we wish, or we can tell it to compute the stock size based on the size of the component we've brought through from Inventor. So I'm just going to select this, click on Next, and then we can define where we want the 00, zero touch point to be on our component. So we can simply select a corner, click on Next, tell it whether we're doing 3, 4, or 5 axis machining. We're going to leave that as standard and then we can go to our next area and finish. And there we have our component in FeatureCam with the stock correctly positioned. If ever you want to change the coordinate system, you can simply go into your setup file by double clicking, go to the zero tab, and then we can choose our location for our zero zero point on our block. So I'm just going to choose this other corner here. You can see it reposition. If you're happy, click Apply and click OK. And now the component is ready to start machining or creating machining tool parts. Mm -hmm.